Friends, Crappy Kathy here with Mixed Media Frenzy. And I've got so much that's gonna go on on this layout that I really wanna get started quickly. The pin that we chose for uh, Mixed Media Frenzy today is by uh, the, uh, Natalie D'Souza, who is amazing and she's on the Vicki Booten design team. And she used lots of Vicki Booten supplies here. I'm gonna use a few, some stamps and a, and a couple things. Unfortunately, I've used up all of these particular supplies, so mine won't look exactly like this. I'm going to use a photo of my granddaughter, Ava, looking up at a, um, it's a it's a television, but the television had a an aquarium. So she, for as far as she was concerned, she was looking up at fish swimming around in an aquarium. So I'm going to do um, some streaks across here with uh, distress oxides. And then I'm going to do some fish through a stencil and then some starfish through a stencil. And then we'll go from there on, uh, on the de decorating. I'm using a, let's see, I'm gonna mix up what I'm doing right here. And I've, I've laid this out because I want to use it as soon after doing my um, streaks across there as possible. Uh, I've used some, let's see, where is it? I don't have the jar here with me, or do I? Anyway, it's Vicki Booten's Iridescent Glaze. And it's kind of dried out, so it's going to go through the stencil better. It won't sneak under, I don't think. So I've added some Adirondack color wash in the stream, color stream because I absolutely love that color. It's to me one of the perfect blue colors. My streaks are not gonna be blue, they're gonna be yellow, different shades of yellow. I've also added some bubblegum pink ink spray to this, so that's gonna color the, um, the starfish. So first of all, let me quickly get, I've, I'm, I'm going to use, this is a packaging technique that I've never tried. I taped it so that I would have something that I could do a streak like this. I know usually those streaks are made with, let me kind of put these things off up to the side and I'm not gonna, okay. These things are, are made with maybe a credit card or a paintbrush or something going across, but I'm gonna use some lesser known technique <laughs> and we'll see if it, if it works. So I'm gonna get the, I have, if you, let me make sure that you could see that. Uh, I just took, I, I'm taking three colors, fossilized amber, mustard seed, and squeezed lemonade, going from the darker to the lighter of the yellows there. And then I'm getting it on here. It, the thing is, it's also getting it on the tape. But let's see what happens. We're gonna kinda go like that and kinda go like this. This isn't going to be as, um, as exactly perfectly streaky and it's not as important a part of the layout as it is in the in Natalie's layout. So let me kind of go there. I kind of like that. So those are the two streaks that I'm gonna do there. Now I'm gonna cover that guy up, put it over here. I'm gonna go with the mustard seed 
and I'm gonna spray it with water just a little bit. And I'm gonna take the same, I'm, I'm not gonna wash the color off. Okay, now I've picked up some pink up here, which is fine. I'm gonna do some more and I'll do it from this side over. Okay, I, I like the look. It isn't a replication of, the, of, of Natalie's layout, but I think I'm fine with it. I folded that over because I want this squeezed lemonade to be a little bit I, I want to have plenty of room for it. That. Okay, and I'm gonna go from here to here. All right. Okay, uh, I've accomplished what I set out to accomplish, which was to have some um, kind of variation, I guess, in the, um, or variegation maybe, is the word I'm looking for, in the streaks, and certainly I've got that. I'm gonna quickly dry it with this paper towel roll so that I can do the stenciling. Okay, I'm gonna do the pink stenciling down here. I'm gonna lay my um, my stencil here, and I'm just gonna kinda, I know my photo's gonna go there, so I really kinda wanna, um, get an, not a straight line, okay. And who made this stencil? I am not sure. Um, I'll look at it and see. The fish stencil is a Paige Evans Okay, that's, okay, that's good. Let me wipe up this one bit right here. I'm gonna scrape it up. And the, that color really worked out just perfect there. So I'm gonna, try to get John could you do me a favor mm -hmm. can you take this and put it in water in the sink these two things have my helpful hubby on hand to be my my sous chef here okay now we'll go with the fish these two things. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do this, and I kinda wanna maybe more to show here, but I want it to look vertical. Let me get some more of this and I like that probably what I picked up is going to have some variations in color okay 
That seems cool. And those are disting distinguishable as fish. These are distinguishable as um, starfish. And I have a, a mess over here, which is why they call my segment at the Secret Not Secret Kit Club parties uh, getting messy <laughs> with, with Kathy. Here are two more, John. I'm gonna put them here on top of the trash can. If you could take those and clean those off too, please. Okay, so now I'm going to build my photo cluster while this drive on the trash can. There we go. And Stick that aside. I have just kind of gotten a random selection of um, pattern papers here that kind of pick up uh, colors in the um, in the photo. She's wearing a pink shirt, and there's a lot of uh, of green and kind of goldish in the wood there. So I'm going to take. A, I've got a, um, I've stamped with Vicki Booten stamps some uh, flowers and then I stamped leaves on vellum, which is, I, did, I used the wrong ink for that and they're smearing. So I'm going to put them on and then I'm actually going to restamp all of these off camera after all of this and when I do that, I will use a, um, a permanent ink and I'll place the, the, um, the newly stamped ones over the others. I'll explain that to you in a minute. So first thing I wanna do up in the right hand corner here is where I want the smallest flower. So I'm gonna go with this, and I'm gonna go ahead and mount it on the photo because I'm not um, hiding anything there. So I'll do that. I'll get one of these leaf clusters and kind of slide it in between these layers. With, let me get a little glue on it. This shouldn't take too terribly long. I had a really long video this morning because I kind of started from blank paper. Okay, there. And then another one right up in here. I'm gonna have basically three flower and leaf clusters and each one's gonna have a fish. How I got my fish. <laughs> um, the fish are, I, I had a napkin that had these fish on it. So I scanned the napkin and then printed it on uh, satin uh, sheen paper and then fussy cut the fish. So the only problem is they're all pointing the same way. So I'm actually going to mount this fish right there so that it looks like it's swimming into the flowers as opposed to putting it over here where it would be swimming off the page. So not a big uh, revelation there. I'm just gonna let it be right there. Okay, now over here, there's a, a kind of a, a vertical element and I'm gonna have another, I'm gonna have my largest flower 
here and this yellow sprig. So let me get started on that. Again, built on the photo itself. And then hopefully by the time this is done, everything will be dry so that I can assemble the third cluster up here right on top of the mixed media. Let me get that right there. And then these. Turn this up and see. Okay. That's good. And I'm going to put another one down here. And I've got some little puffy butterflies in the three colors that I'm using here the pink, green, and yellow. Well, pink, green, yellow, and blue. I guess my four colors. Okay, and then I, I'll have the fish swimming in like that. So now let's see if we can bring the page back and actually mount this photo. Okay, it is going to go kind of right there. So, let me put some foam on the back. I'll just use this rather irregularly shaped piece of foam and I'm gonna put the tape on the foam, the part that sticks to the photo. And then I'm going to, because that's wet media under it, I'm going to use this wet glue to really adhere it um, well. Okay, so we're going to go here, and I'm going to kind of put it at a bit of an angle because I want her to look like she's looking up at those fishies. Okay, and I just got something on the photo. Fortunately, it's a filtered photo that isn't, um, oh, picture perfect, if you could say. Okay, so that's good. And I wanna have this fish also up on some foam. Maybe a double, a double row of foam there. Because there's so much um, height there. So let me do this. And I will tell you that the title I'm gonna put on after all of this it's I'm gonna use the blue up here with these other blue fish, which I thought might look kind of perfect. Um, actually, yeah, yeah, I do want to do that. It's not too much blue. You can't have too much blue. And besides, the flower is going to be yellow. Let me do the flower here. Okay. And then I'll take the This leaf cluster, get some glue on it. So we're gonna have fish, butterflies, and flowers on here. Um, kinda go there, I got a little bit of glue there. And 
again, I'm going to try to stick with the kind of the theme colors. Uh, let's Okay, there we go, and this guy needs some foam, and then we'll put the butterflies on. The title is, I'm, I'm going to print it on my printer, and I didn't do that because someone was using my, um, the computer that's hardwired to the printer. So, what I want to do is, um, I'm doing the, um, Mind the Scrap Summer Team Challenge. And this week the rules require the color yellow, the packaging technique, um, a vacation photo, which that is, and numbers, at least three numbers. So I'm going to title this One Little, Two Little, Three Little Fishies. And I thought I would type those that up in little word strips, phrase strips, and kind of put them right here. Um, I'll type them up, I'll staple them onto a piece of foam so they stand up. So that's what you'll see when you, um, when you see the layout online. Okay, I've got Places for butterflies. Let's see. This is a flower that I thought could go kind of right there. I'm committed to using up this um, sheet of stickers. I'm not going to use that little orange one because that one doesn't really go with this. Um, to kind of... Um, I did this in two vertical a line, so to kind of break that up, I'm going to add this butterfly right there to kind of give it, kind of break that line, and I'm going to do another one kind of right, right up in there, why don't we? Okay, and then I've got a couple pink ones to use here and here I think and I've got kind of a blend of yellow and pink that I will use over this yellow area and these two I'm thinking aren't um, yeah this one actually may work right near this fish because the fish is a not so pink it's got some of that kind of coral color and i'm going to go over here right above where my strips will be i'm going to call this finished thank you very much for watching um here's the original and this is mine. It's different, but clearly influenced by Natalie's, and I'm happy with it. So thank you again for watching. There's the whole thing, except for the little strips of journaling. Bye.